That's my woosaw. What are we uh, talking about today? So we here in Florida, I, we are on the East Coast. We're right about dead middle of the state. We're about 40 miles south of where Cape Kennedy is, Cape Canaveral and all that. We, we, we the, this West Coast area got hit by the uh, outer bands and, and floodwaters of Hurricane Helene that came through and uh, it caused a lot of problems for, for everybody. It became a story for us um, for several reasons. The story that we're going to bring into this is that we saw cars sink, sit there and get flooded. And what happens to all these cars? We're going to do a little follow up in the next show or two as to where these cars go when they, when they get pulled from the insurance company. Are they going to Copart? Are they going to auction? Is there people out there that are buying them by the masses from insurance companies and then cleaning up and selling them or just breaking Did them down for crushed? parts? I think very few yeah. at the beginning get crushed, but at the end, anything that has a salvage title is always able to be resold. But what we saw, and we're going to jump back into this <laughs> thing that American Car Classics is not on board with. It's, it's a pushed agenda, and that is the, <laughs> that is the EVs. Electric vehicles, for those that don't know what EV is. Chris, my, daughter, my daughter didn't know what EV stood for. So I had to tell her electric vehicle. Well, it's just a couple of digits down from ET, and and I, I'm a big <laughs> ouch fan, you know, and stuff. But it isn't anything to do with an extraterrestrial. This is an electronic vehicle. Yeah, and um, we, and it really we, let them down. We, <laughs> we, we we kick them on the show because we're 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 combustion type of uh, engine guys and all that yeah. stuff. However, I, I I'm not an EV hater. I think there is a place for them. There is. I don't think I, they need to be the only vehicles on the road. No, this this California going out crazy, Gavin Newsom stuff where they, that's yeah. going to ban it all and make a pizza delivery guy yeah. buy a $50,000 electric car yeah. that he can only drive on Tuesdays and Thursdays because charging stations are odds or evens. Yeah. It's just too much. It, yeah. the, the infrastructure wasn't built for it, Chris. It's, it's not, not. It's not ready for it. And so we're not EV haters. Nope. To the extreme. And right? let's jump but, out there and say that the hybrids. Yeah, I love those. All three of us, Bryce, hybrids. I love my hybrid. <laughs> See? I love my hybrid. And, 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 and if you don't know where Bryce got his hybrid, go back two shows and I think you'll find it. And, yep. and how he got recognized into this and went car shopping the day after one of our shows. <laughs> he did. Yeah. Is incredible. Uh, but, but the hybrids we believe are the future. We believe that hybrids yeah. do work. We do believe the E-Ray and things like this do make it happen and are right. Yep. However, the electronic vehicles that were not able to be taken out of refuge and harm's way of the storm sat there and they got flooded out. And what happened? They caught on fire. There Are was, you surprised by that? Yeah, I mean, so then there's a news article. I saw it yesterday, a day before. Yeah. Salt water and EVs don't mix. Apparently the salt water corrodes the battery so terribly. If it doesn't catch on fire, then... It corrodes and then the, the battery capacity drains and it's just, it's not a good thing. And living in Florida, I mean, the, the coast is right there. You can throw Hot a football, you know. Yes, sir. I, we can see. I think we yeah. got, we got a piece of video here. Yeah, there it is. Yeah. Look at that. Th yeah. This and is in somebody's garage. Yeah. And you see the wheels are submerged. Yeah, they're, the not, are submerged. They're, they're not more than a, a third underwater. So this is nope. just hitting that battery on the bottom. This We're not talking corrosive principles that take a time period of anything other than salt is in the water. It's there as a catalyst. It activates this and, and poof, you've got a fire. And obviously this started, at, you can see the hottest flame is in the bottom and pulled it up. Yep. And this house burnt down. The whole house, bur I didn't, house I didn't burnt down. I didn't know that. Yep. The house well, burned down. Nobody could get to it. Nobody could get to it. Well, the firefighters are taught that if it's an EV fire, you don't you just stand back and wait yeah, till it burns itself out. There's no way to put out a fire from a battery like this. Well, they can, they do, but it takes twenty five thousand gallons to do it, as where a normal car fire takes four thousand. Wow! And it is it is not effective for them to do. So they sit there and they let them burn out. So considering what we just saw, how smart is this driver? <laughs> Wow, but you think it's a truck. It's got height, right? Didn't, wheels. Didn't they, they talked about ground clearance and you can do everything in the cyber truck and this, that, and the other. Um, man, I don't. But he doesn't know. And he wasn't told he doesn't know. And that could be fresh rainwater 
inland that was that was you know not not going down from storm drains so that could not be salt water activated anything bryce that may be he may be okay but it's still water getting to a battery it is still water getting not just the water but the corrosion and and how about the fact that these batteries aren't sealed that very well well and a lot of people know and i know there's tesla lovers that just love everything tesla and i get it you know i mean as far as an electric vehicle goes look man their torque is incredible but the, their build quality it, inc- and it's been saying it's been poor for for years i mean people show you door gaps and how to go from narrow to wide and narrow to wide and seals falling off there's to I me mean, Google and you or just search on YouTube, the Cybertruck quality issues. There was a guy, he had had his Cybertruck for one day. He was, his sprayer wasn't working for his windshield wiper. And it was just leaking on the bottom of the car. It wasn't even connected to the, the thing on the windshield. I mean, their bill quality just isn't the best. Well, here again, the agenda of pushing a car out before it's done. Back in the day, they used to have, uh, well, you're wearing a Mustang Performance shirt there, uh, Mr. Bryce of Ford Performance. And and I know that Ford had a test track. I knew a guy that used to drive them uh, doing R&D out on the Ford test tracks. Uh, those things are gone. This is uh, the day of the cell phone where you build it, you push it out, and you let the consumer figure out your quirks or pros yeah, and cons. It is, yeah. Stuff. And, and then, then they course, sell you the solution to it. Then they sell you the, <laughs> and that's so, so uh, we just wanted to talk a little bit about that because um, I think that from this hurricane alone in Florida, we read that there were six EV fires. I do know that that one that we showed you a video of took the house down. Um, I don't know that homeowners insurance is going to cover that or not. Uh, it'd be something for it. Here in Florida, we already have a homeowners insurance crisis going on, and I can't imagine that this storm is going to help that crisis anymore. But the the we read just the other day um, that uh, high Ford told 180,000 hybrid owners to not park your car inside while they look for a repair yep. on one of their circuits or systems. They absolutely did. They said, put your car outside uh, and don't charge it in the garage. Yeah. And recalls are nothing new to cars. I mean, they recalls would go on for forever and ever. They're technical service bulletins. We call them TSBs yeah. or, or a recall when it comes up in our Dolphin Auto uh, has a has Mitchell One, which gives us a support icon that says that flashes when we enter a VIN and it tells us there's a recall notice that we can inform the customers about be about it immediately so they can go out and go ahead and get that taken care of or let us go ahead and call the dealership and get it taken care of for them. But uh, when they you, normally not going to burn your house down though. They're not going to burn your house down. <laughs> no, and I, no. There's a couple things. I've had some recalls before, before but nothing ever told and, me to park outside. No, some ignitions. Well, I remember one Ford. Then I'm not passionate. Ford brush, but they had an ignition issue that did cause some cars to start on fire. But you, okay. it, it, it was never a thing of don't park your car inside because and you just went out and bought. What is a what does a Tesla cost? Well, what does a Tesla three years ago cost? Because they're different now. <laughs> But uh, they're, they're uh, 60 grand? 60, 70, yeah, I guess. 70 Depending on what you get. You got to buy a new car. You got a garage. You don't want to park it outside unless your garage is full of your golf cart and golf clubs and other stuff that you may have. But you want to pull it into your garage and keep it. You want to beat the elements and get inside and stay warm. Keep and it charge it. And to charge you it. You got to charge it, right? Oh, so there's another one that Chris just pulled out of the hat. Now, you're going to charge this EV that you've got that box inside your garage. Yep. And you've got that four and a half foot long cable that yep. goes from your box to your charger. Yep. Now you're going to park it outside. <laughs> How am I charging that? Are you giving me, is Tesla giving me a, a 22-foot cord? Oh, uh, man, they get you a little solar panel and... <laughs> How long is that going to charge? Get you a gas car? generator. On a rainy day. A gas no. generator is going to charge your Tesla. We get into fun, but but seriously, this was a cool show. I, I, I think so. Did you guys think so? Yeah, that's what's going to matter. Look, we we normally do a little bit more on cars. We normally do uh, 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 some tech talk, and we we bring in people that that help us out, meek and people or whatever else, and 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 give us more information than we can just bring to you. Yeah. They're the experts in the field, so it is important to go back what Chris wanted to talk to you all at the beginning of the show about, which was we're only here to bring you stuff that you want to see. So if you liked us enough, and if you like the format enough, then hit a like button. Even if you didn't, still hit the like button. Well, it it, it really that. costs them nothing. Like if they spilled their <laughs> Coke and they just hit it by accident, yeah, at least they hit like. Oh, no. I liked it. Yeah. I hate to whore myself out and say, hit the like button. Hit the subscribe. Dude. Leave us a comment. 
Those those things are they're, repetitious they're across weird. the web. You 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 are asked that by every Everybody. person, you know. And so I, I guess we're gonna just keep doing that. But it makes a difference. Uh, Dolphin Auto sponsors this show. We have a lot of supporters like like Jasper Engines and Transmissions and O'Reilly Auto Parts and Meekum Auctions, the number one auto auction in the world. And um, they do care about us, and and we support them as they support us. And um, all right, well, we've got to end it somewhere. All right. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it. Come back. This is American Car Classics Woo! Radio Podcast. Woo!